This is a level 1 functional skills math paper from AQA. It's split into two parts. In the first part you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Question 1. Circle the smallest number. Looking at these numbers, they're all decimals. Also, the first digit, the one before the decimal point, that's a 7 for all four of them. So that doesn't help us differentiate yet. For that reason, we need to look at the next digit, the one right after the decimal point. The higher that digit, the bigger the number overall. So looking at that, we've got zero, we've got a one, we've got a zero, zero. So that tells us now that this number is greater than the other three. And we're looking for the smallest numbers. So I'm just going to cross out this one at this point. Now we can focus on the other three. So we've got zero as the second digit of all these three numbers. That again doesn't help us differentiate. So we're going to look at the next digit. So looking at this one, we've got nine, we've got three and we've got four. The smallest of them all is the one with a three. So this is the smallest number of them all. Write in words 10,324. Work out the range of these numbers. So the range is that difference between the biggest and the smallest number. So looking at these, the smallest is this one and the biggest is 9. So we're going to do 9, take away 2, which gives us 7. So the answer is 7. Work out 718.6 divided by 100. So to divide this number by 100, it means we're going to make it 100 times smaller. Rather than going through the long or the short division method, there is a shorter way to do this. So I'm going to rewrite the number 718.6. So again, we said the number will become smaller. So the decimal point will move in this direction. It will move to the left so that the number becomes smaller. So you can imagine 71.86 is going to be smaller or 7.186 will be smaller or 0 0.7186 is even smaller. But where will we place the decimal point? The number we're dividing by, which is 100 here, that has two zeros. So we're going to move the decimal point two places to the left. So this will be 7.186. By rounding each number, estimate the answer to 9.8 times 4.1. You must show you're working. So 9.8, we can round that to 10. And 4.1, we can round that to 4. So we'll do 10 times 4. So it's four lots of 10, which gives us 40. It's a case of adding a zero at the end as well, if you're used to that method. 
Here is an L shape. Work out the perimeter of the L shape. So perimeter is the rim going around. So I'm going to start adding. So we've got three centimeters. Gonna add eight. Gonna add seven. Gonna add twelve. Gonna add ten. And finally, four. So we need to work out the total, but as we can't use a calculator, I'm going to pair the numbers up so it's easier to calculate them. So I'm going to pair up the 3 with a 7, which makes 10, 8 and the 12, which makes 20, and then we've got 10 and then 4. So 3 and 7, that is 10, 8 and 12 is 20, so 20 and 10 is 30. And the 10, 40. And the 4, 44. So 44 centimetres. Birthday party. Kylie is shopping for things for her son's birthday party. Kylie is buying paper plates and paper cups. Plates cost £1.50 for a pack of eight. Cups cost £1.20 for a pack of six. Kylie wants 40 plates and 24 cups. Kylie says the total cost will be less than £12. Is she correct? You must show you working. So she wants 40 plates. 40. They cost one fifty for a pack of eight. So they come in packs of eight. So how many packs will be needed? 40 divided by 8 that gives us 5 so 5 packs will be needed 5 packs so we're going to do £1.50 times 5 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 5 is 25 so 5 down and 2 carried over 5 times 1 is 5, and the 2 is 7. So we've got £7.50 as the cost for the plates. And then she wants 24 cups. Cups, they come in packs of 6. So we can do 24 divided by 6, which is 4. So 4 packs. 120. Four times 0 is 0. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. Two decimal places. So £4.80. Now she says that the total cost will be less than £12. Is that going to be the case? So 750 add 480. 0, 5 and 8, 13. 7 and 4 is 11 and the 1 is 12. So £12.30 is no less than 12. So is she correct? I'm going to say no. They cost more than twelve pounds. Kylie will give each child a bag of sweets. She buys a one kilogram box of sweets. She puts fifty grams of sweets into each bag. How many bags can she fill from the one kilogram box of sweets? So first of all, we need to recall how many grams there are in one kilogram. And the clue is in the word. So when you say kilogram, K, G, K stands for 1000, even in everyday life. So there are 1000 grams in one kilogram. 
So what we're going to do is work out how many fifties fit into 1000. In other words, 1000 divided by 50. Now, there are different ways you could do this in, but what I'm going to go for is you've got 50. If you add another 50, so double the 50, that gives us 100, right? So two lots of 50 gives us 100. There will be 10 lots of 100 in 1000. You can imagine this, you don't need to draw it. Okay, so in each of these there will be two lots of 50. So two, 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 two. So in other words, there will be 20 50s in 1000. That's why the answer will be 20. Carly makes a drink by mixing orange juice and water in the ratio 1 to 6. She uses 2 litres of orange juice. How many litres of the drink does she make? So the ratio is 1 to 6. 1 stands for orange juice and 6 for water. So this means one litre of orange juice will be mixed with six litres of water. She uses two litres of orange juice, so she's doubled the amount of orange juice from the ratio. So we're going to double the amount of water, so that's going to be 12 litres. How many litres of the drink that is in total, the orange juice and the water mixed together? So there we have 2 and the 12 gives us 14 litres. So the answer is 14. Kylie wants to hire a hall for the party. The charge for hiring the hall is worked out using this formula. Charge is equal to £50 pounds plus £30 pounds times the number of hours it is hired for. Carly is charged £140 pounds for hiring the hall. For how many hours does she hire the hall? So this is C for charge equals 50 plus 30 times number of hours. Let's just denote that with H. Number of hours. Now we know what the charge is equal to, which is 140. So that is equal to 50 plus 30 times H. We don't know the number of hours and that's what we're gonna to need to work out. You will know through BIDMAS that you need to multiply first before you add. So practically, that number of hours will need to be multiplied by 30 first and then 50 to be added to give us 140. Now we're just going to reverse the process. So the final step was to add 50. So if I take away 50 from the 140, it should give me the total for this. So taking away 50 from the 140 gives me 90. So 90 is equal now to 30 times h, right? So 30 times what gives us 90? How many lots of 30 makes 90? 30 and 30 and 30, so that's three lots. So that tells us that h is equal to three, which means three hours. So let's just replace this here. We do 140 is equal to 50 plus 30 times 3, right? So 30 times 3 is 90 
plus 50, does that equal 140? It does. So we've done it correctly. So the answer is 3. And this is the end of this paper.